Well, for me there, I'd have, I'd have picked off the 19, because that way then he'd have had two darts at the treble 20. First match of the event. And it goes to Richie Edhouse. And it puts Itzy van der Waal on the back foot here. And he needs a treble 20, gets it, bullseye to hold throw. Can't quite do it, it's another opportunity he's had, but Edhouse might make him pay for this one. Well, two darts now at double 16 for a break of throw for Edhouse. Good marker, but got a move. Well, great final dart there from Richie Edhouse. Richie seems to be having a little bit of a smile and a giggle to himself. Yeah. Well, he's throwing well at the moment. Second match for him. Go back to that double seven. Uh, that double seven he hit in the third leg. Really has set him up. He's kicked on from that moment, and it's, he's just retreated a little bit. Yes, he has, and Richie now is really starting to put the squeeze on Yitzi's throw here. Also, that's a great last dart. Then picked off a nice one-three-one there to leave himself. A potential two data to take a 5 1 lead. 93. Richie Redhouse again will get first crack at the finish. It's the bullseye. Great first start. Topsy needs and Topsy gets a two dart finish from Headhouse and he's one away from the match. And this has been a clinical performance. Well, Yitzi here on debut, well, he's thrown some decent stuff, but when you've got the experience of Richie Adels, Yitzi's at an 85, or just 46. under a smidge under 85 average here. Um, but Richie's averaging at 96. If you get chances, like we've just spoken about, yeah. you have to take them. Yeah. And his average, Richie's actually climbing now, isn't it? He's, he's starting to go through the gears, and after nine darts, he's left 48. And it's going to be a, uh, you would feel, a comprehensive victory for Richie Edhouse. Itzy van der Waal on debut. He's a dart away from elimination. Edhouse, double ten he needs. And double ten, he delivers. Richie Edhouse breathes a sigh of relief. I think it was a little bit nervy early on. It's a quick format. It's just a, a racer to six, Dan. So if, if you do 96. find yourself... As Yitzi did, a couple of legs down, your head starts dropping a little bit and you start praying to hit some treble 20s. But then also, Dan, if you're not getting opportunities at a finish, when one does come along, you try so hard that you don't get anywhere near it. Yeah, pressure's really on. One There's a little bit of pressure from Brendan, who leaves 102. 84. Okay, he went for the 16s, he's gone into the 7, and that's a bit of a mess. Now, Brendan Dolan, 44. if... Brendan, you require 100. If he gets a single 20 here, he's going to go for the bullseye because he insists on doing it. He insists he's right. He's wrong. Oh, well, scrap that. Double 17. Lovely stuff. Double 18. Oh, there we go. Brendan Dolan, 102 check out to kick off his campaign. Second leg is Brendan to throw third. In the world of darts, Dan, like Brendan Dolan has. If you don't produce brilliance at some points, and by that I mean that he has those brilliant runs for three or four months, then it doesn't matter that he has that little low, and nor does it bother him because he knows that bit of brilliance will come back again. Yeah, well, he could do with going through one of those spells because at the minute he is a grand and a half outside the match play spots. It can easily be made up, but he's in a dogfight for those spots. I'm a big believer, Dan, that... 26. Brendan, you require 90. And I know Studley doesn't like this, Rod Stud. I see you can only control what you're doing. You can't control what opponents are doing. If you keep giving yourself opportunities and you take those opportunities, you will qualify for things. And Brendan is that dogged sort of person to do that. That leaves double ten. And that is 3-0. Brendan Dolan, clinical stuff from the Northern Irishman. Two breaks a throw. Kai Gotthard. Game on. He's not playing poorly. I've heard that said. 54. Kai, you require 142. Well, Brendan will be thinking here, if, if Kai doesn't take this out, I'll just take out the 170 anyway. 
86. Brendan, you require 170. Well, down is the big jaws. <laughs> I'm going to make it work. I'm going to keep hounding about it. Ooh. Oh, my. He can't do it, can he? Oh, dear. Well, it's his first miss. He doesn't know how he's missed it by a, basically a yard in darting terms. Wow, that was shocking, Brendan. Well, Kai, I feel he needs to hit this. Yeah, oh, that's a great last the dart there, Dan. May only be a, a 15 dart, I think it was. Course. But do you know Game what? On. It puts a leg on the board. Maybe I haven't seen Brendan close to a like yeah well done interesting 140 that would have been just about right if it had hit the max again there and take out the 141 he didn't so we press on 99 and Dolan still averaging over 100 102 mark 100 yeah, and he's only averaging three figures on the Euro Tour. In all the Euro Tours he's played, and he's nearly 70, he's only averaged a ton on four other occasions. This is one of the best performances we have seen from Brendan Dolan on the European Tour over the years. Great performance. Double 18 here then. Games on the Fantastic leg. dart. 81, 180 in the leg and an 81 Eight checkout. He's 5-2 down. And every time he turns around, he's just a little bit of a close of the eye there. Every time he 100. turns around, Brendan seems to have his first dart sat in that treble 20. Ninety-eight. Brendan, you require 100. Well, Brendan has six darts here minimum, Dan, for the one-two-one. One. Well, if this goes in this visit, Brendan Dolan wins it six-two with his record average on the European Tour. He's not going to go for it. He sets it up. Three clear darts at double 16 for Brendan Dolan to wrap up a brilliant match. It has not been. You look at the scoreline and you think this hasn't been close. It was a lot closer than it looked like it was going to be when Brendan led 4 0. Next door for double eight. That is a 6-2 win for Brendan Dolan and one of his best ever on the European Tour. That's the final game of this afternoon's session. Won't go on your ranking unless you actually win the game. And Masek was looking good in this leg and all of a sudden things might be changing. Yeah, well, he should get a shot at the ball. He will get a shot at the ball, missed five darts. In the second leg, and he's missed 39. another one that's way wider the target. You require 80. Working his way up to tops. Plenty of room to the right hand side, and he doesn't quite squeeze it in there. This feels like a must take for Masset. Yeah. Not get a better chance. Oh, he's missed the big number. Just adding to the pressure. Oh dear, he's done it again. He's done it again. Two big numbers 26. missed. And if he's going for the 10 there, then it is a cardinal sin to miss on that side. You go higher, if it goes in the six, you've still got two darts at double 18. It is a real big error. And he's not punished for it. Well, Alexander Masek, his heart would have been through the floor but now it will be beating quickly, yeah, and it will be now. He raises his arms. The Czech fans are happy as well. Back foot here. Oh, decent enough throw, hasn't he? But Brandon Berg in control of this game. Trouble 17. No need to go for the bullseye here. 95. Masek is relying on misses from Vandenberg. It's not a great visit either. So double 16 then for a 3 0 lead. Double 16, he delivers. Decent enough start this from Dimitri. It is. 
But Vandenberg should be creating a chance for him to wrap this game up from here, and he certainly will. Really, really good. What a leg of darts from Dimitri Vandenberg. He's on a 10 darter to win it. It's a tough school in the PDC. And Dimitri Vandenberg is about to show us exactly why. Double eight for a 10 dart leg. It'll have to be an 11, but Vandenberg is through. And he sees off the man from the Czech Republic on his Euro Tour debut. Vandenberg is through. Fantastic. Yeah, they can. And each and every time we come to one of these events, we wonder if it's going to be a new winner that may be about to launch themselves off the springboard to success. Or will it be one of the tried and tested picking up yet another title? No Michael Van Gerwen or Gary Anderson, so that may open up the door. 100. Andrew, you require 100. It's for a break of throw, then. Well, that's a great first dart here. Tops in for Andrew Gilding for a break of throw. Double 10. Yeah, for the first leg. Andrew. Well, first blood to Andrew Gilding. Good Andrew solid Andrew finish first. there. Good solid scoring, yeah, yeah. good finish. A very, very impressive start. Double 17. Can't get it. Vince is going to get a look at the same target here as well. Well, again, Mark, you feel, uh, I mean, he missed tops for a 1 4 5 check out the league before this. You feel, does he need to take this bullseye for a 1 2 1? Oh, what a dart there from Richard Beenstra. As Andrew Gildin sat there ready to pounce for a 3 0 lead, Richard Veenstra casually treble 20, 11 ball. That table. Wow. You're singing and had enough. But this is a very good leg. Well, he's on a potential 10 darts and he might not get a go at it. Well, now. Well, as a former pro dart player, Richard Veenstra will be disgusted with that first dart. He didn't show it, but he will not be happy with it. It's all. Yeah, Ten dart leg from Gilding. Yeah. Even Colin yeah, Lloyd singing yeah, couldn't put him off in that leg. 4-3. Yeah. And another break of throw. Well, moment. Six darts from here then. Leaves himself very handy indeed. Well, Veenstra here sitting on a potential two data. Gildin still not on a finish. He's with that last dart, albeit a 160. But Richard Veenstra here, thrown for the match. Two darts at double 16. And Richard Veenstra again wins his opening game on the European Tour. And he is delighted. The reaction will tell you that. Just had earlier this week. I think you're right when you talk about the work he's putting. It feels like he is working, Daryl Gill. He is looking very good for the match players, things stand. He's in the provisional Grand Prix spots, but as you say, it's not happily sat in the top 16 in the world rankings. You've got to be good week in, week out to get up on that Pro Tour ranking list and force your way into those tournaments. And over the last few months, that's exactly what he's been doing. Yeah, I think the way Daryl thinks, he knows 19. if he gets into the majors, he is a banana skin for the so-called big guns. He knows that, and they know that. So it's good to see him putting in the hard work again, Dan, to, put, for me, push himself back up where it, I think he belongs. Yeah, well, there's a 13 data. Two very strong legs on throw for Daryl Gurney, dominating this game. Yeah, you only have to look back to the match play last year where he dismantled Gary Anderson. A bang in scoring could improve a bit. His first nine average is actually below his overall average, but he's been so good at the end of legs. That's what's keeping those numbers up. 59. Don't you require 100. Well, tops now then for a 17 dart leg. Double 10. 90. 
I don't think Darrell will be overly worried at this time of the match, Dan, and I don't mean it in a disrespectful way, but you can't see Patrick getting past, past Darrell in this match from now on in. But Darrell still needs to keep his head on, keep his focus. Well, splits it to leave double four. And Gage pins double four is leg. pretty deadly Double in that game. top right section of the board. Leg, double 18, double four. Fingers. Certainly worked for him game in this game, on. and the whitewash is on. Yeah, it could be our first one of the day. But you know what, Patrick Klingelhofer? 58. Give yourself a pat on the back. You think some of these players, Dan, within the German darts organisations, have taken a little bit of, um, ooh, I'd, I'd like to do that, with the likes of Martin Schindler, Gabriel Clemens, Ricardo Pietrescu, who's gone on and on and on and now competes in majors. Do you think that's given them a, a, a big bump to say, well, maybe I could do that? Well, it's certainly shown him it can be done. Ricardo himself, a Euro Tour title winner, but again, when we first saw him, did not look like he was going to go and become the player he's become. I think Patrick Klingelhofer is going to have to put this one down as a learning experience. A loose throw there from Darrell. It's still smiling, or was it a grimace? I'm not quite sure. He's more dangerous when he's sulking and angry and moody. Better darts player. Double 16. He's found match dart, Gurney. He misses his beloved double 18. Patrick, you require 124. Well, come on, Patrick. At least give yourself a dart at the ball. Treble 18 there for the ball. He's had a nightmare on that segment. He's gone for it a few times. He's at the four there. He's hit the one a couple of times early on in the match. The radar is not set in that bit of the board. And it looks like a 6 nil. He's going to split again. And it's that double four. Which Gurney hits once more. It is a 6-0 whitewash for Daryl Gurney, who leapfrogs Brendan Dolan once again in the world rankings. That intriguing battle for a World Cup spot for Northern Ireland. Patrick Klingelhofer, well, the fire, as he's known, not particularly hot this afternoon in Risa. A disappointing debut, but a debut nevertheless. And we may see him again on the Euro Tour later on this year. Five games down, three more to come. Callan Ritz and Lee Evans after the break. Struggling to hit a treble at the minute. Two and a half legs in and frustration is evident for Lee Evans. And he's going to have to get a grip on that. Neither of them seem to be able to get the line right consistently in this game. But even so, well, there you go. Even so, Callan Rids finds himself with loads of time to make it 3 0. Yeah. It's been pretty effective thus far. Double 16 he needs. And that's three from three with the doubles for Callan Rids. Well, he might not be scoring to his. Top level, but his finish is pretty good. Three out of three, and he's 3 0 up. Full and completely missed. So, 1 5 6 then for Rids to move within one. I start saves the visit. And Evans take care of this. Fifty-nine. Calony requires seventy-five. Starting to see a few fewer stray darts from Lee Evans. Rids wants double twelve. Adult six. Sixty-nine. That's a big miss. That is a big miss. And Evans here to break throw needs another one of those. And now he needs tops for back-to-back -back legs. And he's just under the bottom wire. Rids, as he goes straight at this. 
Yes, he does, and that's a great dart. He needed that rids, and he's now one leg away from victory. I'm not sure what the poor... I don't know if he's got a physical problem, Lee Evans. It might explain so. You can just see him stretching out the hand. That might explain what's going on here. Because it has been a struggle 61. for him. Lee required 52. Callan Ridge has been peppering that treble seven. 52 then here. Oh, another big number miss. It'll only be one. It'll be one at double 16. And it's another dart gone. And Ridge is looking at 84 for the match. Downstairs at the 16s. 68 left. That leaves the bullseye. And Callan Rids has won it 6-1 with some excellent doubling, but very little else. Maybe Lee Evans struggling with an injury. That's the only thing I can surmise because the five segment on that dartboard looked the size of an Olympic swimming pool because half of the dart... You know, the audience, you can see him there, Merv, and... Well, he's not happy, is he? He didn't look happy when he got on stage. And remember that smoke, uh, that steam I said might be coming out of his ears. I think it's starting to come out of his ears and we're only in the second leg. He's not happy. But like you said, sadly, the more he shows it's affecting him, the, the more it'll encourage the people involved to do it. And, you know, it's, yeah, it's all a little bit unnecessary, isn't it, here? Connor can't quite take out the 114. Can King follow up his 160 with a 110? He needs treble 18 there now for the double. Well, 24. Tops then for 1 1. Double 10. Double 10 is hit by O'Connor, and we are all level. So the ladies and gentlemen, to throw first. Very best of order, please. Game on. Well, Kirk Bevins there giving the crowd a very. See, when it's like this, Mark, it's not so bad. Yeah. That's because a good it's, noise, yeah, isn't it? It's a, it's a noise, and it's not an individual shout no. now. Young people enjoying their afternoon at the darts. Wonder if they're coming back tonight. We're back from seven local time, six Whoa. in the UK. So King's going to be back for eighty to go in front four three. Ninety three. Set up from O'Connor, but King should get at least one dart at a double. Climbing the ladder. Tops he needs. Just Two. caught his other dart. And O'Connor gets a look at 80. And another twist in this match. And it's a twist that favours Willie O'Connor. And look at the reaction from the magpie. Game. Start there from Mervyn King hitting the treble one. He still left himself a finish, albeit the big one. Willie O'Connor then. Yeah. Treble 18. Oh no. Well, what do you make of that, Colin Lloyd? What about that? Well, when someone's already taken out a 160, I know it's a completely different shot, but he's left himself an awkward 79. And there's a great start for Merv. If he hits a treble 19, well, still hit a 139 to put pressure on the finish, which he's done. Awkward now for Willie. He might only get one dart at a double. Yeah, he's made a bit of a mess of that. But that's a good dart. Double 11 he needs, and Here's double shot. 11 he delivers. Oh, well, Connor shakes his head. He's not happy. Hunter Buckner. He's also left himself a three dart finish. Well, he'll be disgusted with that. Just got to hope now that Michael Hunter Buckner 68. doesn't come back and Michele plant this 157. 157. Could happen. That leaves double top. Oh, Michael Unterbuckner misses a dart for 5 2. Luke, you require 32. 
but Luke Woodhouse knows he has to pin Game this, and he does. Luke Woodhouse. Eight leg, it's Michael his heart first. would have been in his mouth when he's... Luke, you require 170. Oh, another. What a dart. Oh! 145. So close. So close. Michael, you require 35. I think that might have kicked him back into gear, Dan. Maybe, but he could lose the leg. Oh, hang on, that's not quite right. Double 13. Well, that nice is a sloppy ball. mistake for Hunter Buckner. Single three for double 16 was what he wanted. He ended Luke, up leaving double 13. 25. And maybe the concern about missing inside led to him missing with both darts. Well, can he take this opportunity? That's a great marker. Wow. On the eighth leg. Luke like Woodard. Dan just said there, sloppy Nine mistake by Michael Luther Buckner first. by hitting the treble three. Gave Luke Woodhouse the chance to come. 36. Well, that's a great first dart. Double eight, then. Ooh. 128. Gave himself every Michael opportunity there. 96. But now we'll be walking back, hoping beyond hope that Michael Underbuckner misses this double yeah, 18. The which he does Michael not. Underbuckner. Takes out the 96 clinically with two darts. Well, two treble 20s in the bull. Well, not going to get a go. This should switch 19s. 44. Well, Michael, he's opened the door again for Michael to book me, even if he doesn't take the shot out. A 140 put so much pressure on this one two. So that's a great first dart. Great second dart. Double 14. 120. Match dart miss by Michael Unter Buchner. Luke, you require 126. Woodhouse needs the biggest finish of the game so far to stay alive. It is on. Bullseye, another crack. And is that it for Luke Woodhouse, Michael who deserves Luke a lot of credit for dragging himself back into this game. But Mickey Hunter Buckner is getting the crowd involved for a first ever win on the European Tour. Michael Hunter Buckner, the two time Lakeside semi finalist, is a winner on the Euro Tour. He beats Luke Woodhouse by six legs to four and sets up a second round meeting with a...